Rocket Man. Now, Rocket Man is a R-rated movie. It's a biography drama music movie, around two hours long. This came out on the 31st of May, 2019. The story of this is obviously a biography musical fantasy story about the fantastic human story of Elton John and his breakthrough years into the music industry. Let's jump straight into the good points. Now the good points about this movie is we get to see all the stuff of Elton John's life behind the scenes. Obviously you hear stories, you've heard the music, you know he's famous, but what actually happened from him as a child all the way up, we get to see that in this movie. Now director Dexter Fletcher is a lot of credit due to this. He really takes his spin on it and shows his vision on what he wanted to tell in the story of Elton John. Obviously Elton John was working alongside these men with writer Lee Hall. Obviously he does a lot of great stuff with this movie when it comes to the script of the movie i really felt it flowed well you got a lot of great conversations between two characters three characters especially when it comes to the main character of course storyline from his childhood to his dreams and what he achieved was absolutely great and the technical side of the movie as well is top notch really for a 2019 movie i really felt like the visuals in this movie it wasn't just basic that's what i really enjoyed the visuals really added something different you had a lot of flashbacks and how they used the camera in a way where he would flip and then as he flips the camera goes into to a different location all that sort of modern day stuff was added to this movie to really make it flow well and look great and it's like Elton John's life but he could be mid-sentence mid-scene and he just burst into a song now these things are normally cheesy to me and I don't normally like a lot of musicals and when they do this of course but really this suited it to perfection it really did it made it feel exciting obviously the music the music was great obviously all of Elton John's classics and the way they used the music as well from beginning to end was great I want to give a lot of credit to the costume designs as well as the set designs and the location choices the performances from the cast obviously you get some really great performances out there Richard Madden's in this movie playing as John Reed sort of like a manager type boyfriend type figure in this movie and really adds a lot of obviously nastiness you can tell he's just all in it for the money he's a great character and really does a great job in this movie amy bell as bernie the writer for obviously elton john and writing all his music and obviously long time brother type figure in his life really great performance really added a lot to the movie and in fact if it wasn't for the main performance of taron edgerton uh, it, this guy would be the best, but Taron Egerton's Elton John was just absolutely perfect. It really was. This is Oscar worthy in my opinion. He deserves to be up there with the best performances of the year, of course. The fact that he sings all these songs, he doesn't sound like Elton. He takes his own twist and own turn on it, which is really great. It makes it show like he put a lot of effort into it, trying to sound unique, not just the same which we always hear on the radio, of course. The rest of the cast, I really do think they they bring some special performances but really Taron Edgerton is the soul that the main purpose of this movie the way it succeeded the hype around it is because of this performance but what this movie done better than all other music movies similar movies to this really is how they made us feel the lows and the highs of the character it isn't just our oh, drink alcohol sex relationships and then obviously getting famous yes you get all that but the way they made you feel you could feel the family problems when it comes to Elton John the way he was low why he was low why he did what he did the reasons behind it was really shown perfectly going on to the bad points of the movie now there was only two points in my opinion of course you guys may have difference you may not have any bad opinions but mine is the pacing of the movie some of the movie can be a bit slow obviously it's storytelling i understand but sometimes it dragged a little bit in that second act i thought they could have polished it up a little bit maybe even shortened it which goes on to my second point i think the movie could have been best in runtime around one hour 50 one hour 45 minutes i feel like the movie was a little bit too long they could have shortened it down a little bit really polished it up and really would have made this movie really up there with the best of the best movies when it comes to the musical movies going on to the critics ratings of course we have imdb giving this movie a 7.5 out of 10 ron tomato's giving it a 89 percent and metacritic giving it a 69 my rating for this movie is 
a 7.8 out of 10. That makes this movie totally awesome. Overall, guys, I think this is a great story of a musician which many, many people enjoy listening to. Many people want to know the story of this guy. And in my opinion, I just prefer Bohemian Rhapsody. Now, this may offend a lot of people because they may generally think this movie is miles above. And it's not due to the movie. It's just the fact I love Queen massively. I love their music massively. I love Freddie Mercury. Everything about Queen is amazing and the way, the, the, obviously my preference is that compared to Elton John. So I'm still a basic fan of Elton John. I still love his music. It still gets me dancing and singing and stuff. All the great stuff, of course, but really it's just preference. So I prefer Bohemian Rhapsody in my opinion, of course. Also, I really think I love what this movie had to offer for sure. And I recommend fans of music in general. I recommend people who love biographies, the story of obviously musicians and stuff. And also Elton John fans, of course, check this movie out because it's, of course, one of the best movies of the year. So guys, a 7.8 out of 10 for Rocket Man. Don't forget to let me know your ratings and thoughts in that comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think about the movie and rate the movie, of course. And if you enjoyed this video, well, I hope you guys did do smash that thumbs up button helps the video out helps me out and helps the channel out and i really do appreciate it if you're new here consider subscribing and hitting that bell for much much more awesome movies and tv series content we don't just review stuff on the channel we react to trailers as well as rank stuff from the worst to the best when it comes to franchises we like to rank them from the worst to the best when it comes to top tens top fives and even tier lists and stuff like that there's so much on the channel so much more to come i don't want you guys to miss it but without further ado guys thank you very much for watching i've been me you've been you and i'll see you next time guys on talking with jay springer